Welcome again to another episode of... Jackson, the Space Dog! That's me! Today we'll talk about the Pythagorean Theorem. It's my favorite theorem. You may have seen the formula for the Pythagorean Theorem before, but what does it mean? How do we use it? By using the Pythagorean Theorem, we can find the missing measure of one of the sides of a right triangle. It is very important to remember that side A is a leg, side B is a leg, and side C is always the hypotenuse. It's also important to remember that side C, the hypotenuse, is always the longest side of the right triangle and is directly across from the right angle of the right triangle. Let's look at an example. Hey, Carl. Oh, hey, Jackson. If we have a triangle where one leg is three inches, the other leg is four inches, and we don't know the length of the hypotenuse, we could set it up by saying three squared plus four squared equals x squared. Then when we square those numbers, we get nine plus 16 equals 25. Then we have x squared equals 25 but we want to know what the answer to x is. So, we take the square root of x squared and the square root of 25, and we get x equals 5. What if we know the hypotenuse, but don't know the measure of one of the legs? In this example, we have one leg that is 6 inches, another leg that we don't know the measure of, and the hypotenuse that we know is 10 inches. So, we set it up by saying 6 squared plus x squared equals 10 squared. And then when we square those numbers, we get 36 plus x squared equals 100. We then isolate the x squared on the left side by subtracting 36 from both sides. This gives us x squared equals 64 but we want to know what the answer to x is. So, we take the square root of both sides. The square root of x squared is x, and the square root of 64 is 8. Therefore, the measure of our missing leg is 8 inches. Thanks again for watching, and see you next time on... Jackson, the Space Dog! That's me! Mm-hmm. <laughs>